everybody, welcome to uh, Britpop's reaction with me, Hello. BP1 and BP2. Over We've there. got 10 biggest freaks of nature currently in the NFL for you. 2021, this video was. Okay. Uh, All so right. 2022 for us recording this. Um, yeah, we've done a, a few. Done the When Hits the Boom, wasn't it? Oh, Something yeah. Like Big tackles. It comes the boom. It? Big tackles. Uh, we did the um, the uh, Peyton Manning um, in disguise. Yes. So yeah, we've done a done a bit. We're getting the right hang of um, the NFL. Um, so let's see how these guys do it. We're so getting... these are the big guys. These are the big boys. Yes. So All let's right. see what's going on. Freaks yes. of nature. William the Fridge Fell Perry is filled for me. with the biggest, strongest, and fastest athletes I mean, in the world. Are. We've become Impressive desensitized athletes. to the oh, yeah, unexplainable yeah. things these guys do every weekend. To stand out Here among all that, well, it takes an absolute freak of nature. <laughs> if anybody on this list can't make it in football, they might have a shot to make it in Space Jam as one of the Monstars. Space We're the Jam biggest monsters. freaks of nature in the NFL today. Okay. Oh, Jim, yeah. um, George Jim, Kittle. Kittle. George, George Kittle okay. is so much more than just the NFL's best blocking tight end. He's also one of the right. freakiest athletes we have in the NFL. He's skilled at everything. Lightning quick, agile, a great receiver, a touchdown scoring machine, and he's okay. almost impossible to bring down. He can even effortlessly jump and touch a 12-foot ceiling. Somehow, Kittle came from tight end to U, the University of Iowa, and was still overlooked by 32 teams, falling to the fifth oh, round in the 2017 draft. At 6'4", 250, running a 4540. Kittle's athleticism was on display. There's a lot of numbers there. Second season, oh, four, five, broke the five, single five, season four, tight end receiving record. The most That's impressive the thing, part of Kittle's record-breaking season was that he led all the players in the league with yards after the catch. He outmuscled, okay. and sped Real. past, out, out stiffened, everybody, yeah. and juked for so 870 big, yards after the catch. Still run Kittle's it, the know. friend you have that's just yeah, good at everything yeah, yeah. he tries. You know, if your friend was yeah. the best tight end in the NFL, Khalil Mack. One of those Khalil Mack has been head and shoulders athletically superior to his opponents since he played at Buffalo University. Mack's long arm rush okay. as both a raider long and a bear rush. shows off his ridiculous length and enormous power, his chucking full-grown offensive linemen off their feet as he pummels the quarterback. With one arm, Mack recycled Tristan Wirfs after Whoa. he already sacked <laughs> the quarterback. <laughs> Mack isn't into the finesse game. He'll just run straight through right. you as he possesses is the best bull rush in the NFL. On his first night with the yeah, Chicago no. Bears, Max thirst for quarterbacks and superhuman genes put on a show on Sunday Night Football. He snatched the ball right out of Deshaun Kaiser's hands for a strip sack. The very next drive, strip Mack sack. caught an incredible interception and housed it. Khalil Mack's rare brand of freak has become the cornerstone of the Bears franchise. Who okay, the so we've is, seen a couple there, and a lot of numbers. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it's not quite the freak of nature that we were expecting, like, you know, massive big guys. I mean, these are guys that are very, very good at what they do. And, I mean, this, you know, the, yes. the, the chap we're talking about here, when he's on the on the field, he doesn't look that big compared to the others because, you know, the guards and the tackles are massive. But in his own right, he's the last chap, I mean, he was six foot four, 250, uh, and sprinting quicker than I can, you know, so it's... I, it's a numbers thing, isn't it? It's, it's the whole package that you know that adds up to them to Sprinting be. Sprinting quicker nature. than BP two. Yeah, on the on the way to Chippy. On way to <laughs> Chippy. Yeah, right. no, yeah, you're right, mate. Is it biggest freaks? I was expecting like the biggest, as in who's yeah, the yeah, heaviest yeah. player that can actually physically play on the field. But it's not quite like that. It's you know, like you say, the athleticism, the pace, the power. Um, it's good to see as well. Good to see little yeah. clips of them doing it, doing their thing. All right, let's keep mm. keep on chugging. Leo Jones. Julio Jones must have been in the league for so long that people have just become accustomed to his absurd abilities. Jones isn't <laughs> talking about people much going. the best athletes in the NFL when he clearly should be. It's like just because the Falcons lost the Super Bowl, we all forget the catch that Julio made at the end of the game. Ooh, you know, the one that only Julio Jones could make. Julio has been doing that since his days with Bama at 6'3", 220 pounds. Jones is one of the most menacing receivers ever. Julio combines size with four points 
4.39 I mean, speed. Look at that. He's a big lad. He's also a walking 100-yard game. No, literally. He averages 96 receiving yards a game in his career. Jones' catch radius makes him Matt Ryan's best friend. All you have to do is throw it near Julio's zip code, and he snags it. Julio's <laughs> what happens to a 99th percentile <laughs> athlete has all the skills to go along with it. You get a first ballot Hall of Fame freak of nature, Saquon Barkley. <laughs> Really. They do, they do uh, talk it out well, not just the size of tree Jesus. trunks, they're the, the size, size of redwoods. You need the legs the size of Barkley to make seven USC defenders miss on one play. In his time at Penn State, Kevin not Kevin only became a legend on the football Whoa. field, but also <laughs> nice. in the weight room. As he set the power clean record, throwing up 405 oh, pounds, benched no. 225 pounds for 30 reps, and squatted 525 pounds for five reps. Barkley runs a 4.340 at six foot 230 pounds. He can stop on a dime, blow past defenders, and even bring the truck stick. But his specialty is going oh, over defenders. Can't Those massive down. legs spread no. right over tacklers as they hit Casper instead of Saquon, who speeds to the end zone. Whoa. In his first season in New York, he had 2,000 scrimmage yards, a rookie record, and 15 wow. touchdowns. But nobody talks about his touchdown. Where he came back from a nasty high ankle sprain to have 1,400 scrimmage yards. If Saquon stays healthy, there's little to no doubt yeah. he will dominate the NFL. Lamar Jackson. Impressive Lamar Jackson is okay. on this list for far different reasons than the others. Lamar is quite possibly one of the cool fastest back. players in the league. Reportedly running okay. a 4.3440 at Louis Back 4, in 2017, 3, 4, 4, and trying okay. to tackle him is like trying to catch the wind. Jackson isn't what? a very strong player. <laughs> his ability to cut on a dime or spin out of tackles is it could, yeah, it could the Ravens spin and have built get out of the way, can't offense mm. around Lamar Jackson's probably unique that. ability. Even when it looks like he should hand it off a read option, Jackson pulls the yeah. ball and slithers past. You've got to have, you got to have agility as well as pace. Looks like yeah. it's being played at two times the speed, Ooh, and everyone spins. else is on normal time. Yeah, it only problem is he's a court. Jackson back, has know? a rocket arm. He's the guy that's right. Back him up. When he's yeah. Set. The only comparison to Jackson is Michael Vick. But Vick wasn't nearly as far along a passer at Jackson's age. In his MVP season, Lamar's abilities helped the Ravens become the greatest rushing offense in the history of football. When you put yeah, into perspective how much more prevalent running the ball was in the past, the Ravens obliterating the yeah, all-time yeah. rushing number is a testament to Lamar Jackson's absolutely freaky abilities. Tyreek Hill. You've probably heard the term Tyreek track Hill. speed. Oh, he's got Tyreek. track speed on the football field. Well, how right. about gold medalist Olympic okay. speed? That is exactly what Tyreek Hill I mean, he looks tiny though, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah but the fastest player in the NFL. <laughs> and fastest arguably the fastest, fastest player fastest the league the has ever seen. Appropriately nicknamed the really? Cheetah. Really? Hill chucks up Cheetah. the juices Cheetah. as well as well as as compared the compared to zone <laughs> and is a nightmare for defenses all over the league. Yeah, in fact, all teams build their entire game plan around Hill's blade speed. There's not a combine run to quantify his speed, but at his pro day in 2016, some scouts hand-timed him at 4.21 in the 40. Even 4. when Tariq 2. doesn't have the ball, he's running fast. On an 84-yard Damian Williams <laughs> touchdown run, he ran up to catch <laughs> up, up and celebrate, him. clocking in at an amazing 22.81 miles an hour. You can it's visually see him running like everyone else is in slow motion, cruising by defenders trying to get the ball carried. Oh, look at the that! Tyreek Hill oh. just zooms past some of the world's best athletes is simply jaw-dropping. Miles Garrett. Quality. Miles Garrett is the most underappreciated freak in the NFL. A man at 270 oh, pounds should not yeah, be leaping yeah. over other men and doing windmill oh. dunks in his spare time. Garrett's explosiveness is unmatched on the line of scrimmage. He's long Ooh, and strong. His back. first yeah, step yeah. dominates blockers and resets the line of scrimmage. While he's still developing as a defensive lineman, there. Garrett can get by on just his pure freak athleticism alone. He has arguably the fastest get-off of any D-lineman in the league, and that comes from the inhuman power that allows him to box jump lad. while holding a pair of 40-pound dumbbells. The explosiveness Whoa. of a Whoa. Six, Whoa. 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 No way! He just box jumped. Six foot four. With 40 pounds. pounds. Unbelievable. Six foot... I mean, yeah, now that is a freak of nature, man. Look. Whoa. Hey, up. Hey. <laughs> hey. You know.
In the right light. Oh dear. Yeah, in the right light, in the right body suit. That comes from the inhuman power. Just got to see that jump again. Jump while holding a pair of forty-pound dumbbells. The explosiveness of a six-four, two hundred and seventy-pound man who runs a four-point-four in the forty made him a unanimous first overall pick. And he's the last guy you want to meet in a dark alley. DK Metcalf. To show what kind of a monster DK Metcalf is, we have to I've start with the pre combine before, pictures. Metcalf. Normal humans Whoa. don't look like that. They just don't. If we look like that, we'd never wear a shirt either. But DK isn't just a 6'3, 228 pound behemoth with 5% body fat. He's one of the league's fastest receivers as well. He showed it with a 4.3 cool, time at the combine. Jeez. DK can just outrun defenders. If his speed isn't fast enough, his 40 Damn the speed on that. to jump over corners. What a shot, just the what trick. a pass. And if you think you can just jam him at the line, well, good luck. Metcalf's 27 reps on the bench press is more than any receiver in recent history. Quite simply, DK Metcalf makes you believe in the unbelievable. Like maybe aliens are Crazy, on the earth. He's the mate, league's yeah. largest receiver. They're among He's us, mate, aren't they? He's defensive backs. He's <laughs> okay. him down. Yeah. Sorry, Baker. Aaron Donald. Brilliant. Aaron Donald oh, was Rams. told before the draft he was he too big. small to be an elite defensive lineman in the NFL. Opinions like okay. that are why, why people get fired. Donald makes up for some yeah, slight size white. concerns by being built like Hercules, Hercules. possessing the fastest feet in the NFL. He broke the 40-yard dash record for defensive tackles at a ridiculous 4.6. He, he is big. Yeah, that he right. is big. This is the sort of big that we were expecting at the beginning. But Donald's long distance speed isn't even as impressive as his reaction speed. He darts and cuts through blockers like a through knife that. through butter, yeah. obliterating plays, sometimes at the handoff. The old saying, if you can't block them, read them, doesn't really work on Aaron Donald either. With the short uh, area the quickness of, of a running back, Donald somehow 99. plays both sides of a read option run, changing direction <laughs> if his first choice is wrong. Aaron Donald doesn't just have Ooh. speed, though. He has the ultimate combination of both speed and strength. Considering he benches yeah. upward of 500 pounds and can lift grown men off the ground like children, part of Donald's pure freak ability is his certifiably insane workouts. He's even been seen improving his hand speed by dodging knives. Aaron Donald is the ultimate <laughs> make you take a I second think. look player in the league, and he's definitely the most valuable defender. Derrick Henry. Yeah. There's never been anyone quite Derek like Derek Henry. Henry. All right, well, we're getting towards it's, the end, mate. I mean, it's impressive, these, these it guys. Is, yeah. Talent, size, speed. For such yeah. big guys to be able to move that quick uh, just shows the power and the you know, the muscle build-up, but athleticism as well, which leaves that, I think, I can't remember it was, at the 5% body fat, but it just shows yeah. how lean they are with the sizes <laughs> they are. I mean, it, you know, it, the same as everything, the game's evolved. It's got quicker, it's got faster. So you can't just put big guys out there to stand in the way. They've got to, you know, they've got to be quick on their feet, agile, big, and, and be able to carry that weight around, you know, not just stand mm. there in the way. So, I, I mean, yeah. And we don't even know what we're talking about either because we don't well, even... Not, not a clue, but um, it's impressive and, and like i say these are guys are going in there and doing this day in and day out and and keeping you know keeping fit so impressive freak of nature's freak of nature he's a 6'4 mm. 250 <laughs> pound running back larger Jeez. than every running back and not much smaller than most linemen not to mention he runs a legitimate 4.5 so a guy that towers 4. over 5. defenders he's can also run back. faster than them if henry gets four to five steps going forward it's like trying to stop a freight train mm, he's, almost he's just taking you with him isn't he? in the open field and oh. has arguably the greatest stiff arm in nfl history just ask josh norman or earl just Thomas, push you out of the way. Or anybody on the Jacksonville Jaguars. <laughs> Henry's right. freakish ability has terrorized Jacksonville since he was in high school. Once you're done with this video, go look at Derrick wow. Henry's high school football highlight tape. Henry only gets better as the game goes on. Or maybe the opposing team just gets tired just of tackling right him. The defenders don't realize just how impossibly fast how Henry he is wow. until he breaks away from them. And they don't realize how strong he is until they're flying through the, the Norman, air. Derrick yeah. Henry defies human physiology. And for that, He's one of the NFL's biggest freaks of nature. So there you have it. Wow, the there big... you go. All right, okay. Learn some, some more big there. Boys in there. Mm. Yeah, very good. Or oh, a good understanding now. So not just about 
you know, a bit about the positions in that they were that they're playing, about the speed over the forty. I didn't realise that was such a yeah, something that they the do. Combine, oh yeah. look, we've got some subscribers coming in here. Ooh, okay, uh, cheers, nice. Hugo. Um yeah, brilliant, mate. Awesome. You Impressive, know? yep. Uh as I say, I mean I, I'm not as in touch now as I used to be with with the NFL and that. So a lot of the names here I'm not recognising, but I can see that you know again everything stepped up a few more levels than than back in the day. So impressive to see, mate. Keep an eye on that lot. Keep an eye. Yes, we'll be doing some follow up videos. Let us know in the comments where you want yep. us to go next. Um, you know we're always interested in learning. Uh, you know definitely you know more about the NFL. I think we're starting to follow the AFL as well. AFL, Australian, um, yeah. So, yeah, it's all, all good, all good in the hood. Mm. Um, until tomorrow for another reaction okay. from us. Yep. Uh, you know, do put the comments in. Like I say, it does help us out. Well, I'll get my scoreboard up. No, oh, I've just got rid of you. <laughs> <laughs> there he's back, he's back. Until tomorrow for another reaction. It's goodbye from me. <laughs> One job, innit? Hey? One job. <laughs>